Hi guys, welcome to my English channel. Today's tutorial is a celebrity inspired makeup that you guys requested a lot and I was so happy about it because I love the look. It's Chrissy Teigen's makeup that she wore at Oscars this year and she's just completely stunning and I love her makeup looks but this one was just a statement for me and I think it's just so sophisticated and beautiful and the eyes are so versatile that you can wear with any lip color but this complete look is a stunner so I really hope you like it and before we go I want to teach you a Portuguese word of course today I'm gonna teach you how to say model because she's a model so in Portuguese you say modelo repeat with me modelo Hope you like the video and let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start the eyes with an eye primer and this is Primer Potion by Urban Decay and the color is Eden. And today I'll be using eyeshadows from different palettes and I'm gonna start with this one by Makeup Forever, the Artist Shadows One. And I'm gonna take this highlighting shadow on top with the large shader brush i'm gonna apply it and i'm gonna take the shadow riff from urban decay which is a light warm brown on a blending brush e25 by sigma and i'm gonna start blending this shadow on my crease going up towards the brow. With the same shadow, different brush, I'm gonna take a pencil brush and apply it on my bottom eye. Now I'm gonna take a medium matte brown from my Tarte palette with a pencil brush again. And I'm gonna start applying it here on the outer corner of the lid. Going up towards the crease. So now I'm gonna take my E25 blending brush and just blend it so it's nice and smooth. And now with the flat top brush, I'm gonna take that same brown and apply it really close to my lash root here on the bottom eye. And now I'm gonna take a beautiful silvery champagne color from the same artist palette by Makeup Forever. And I'm gonna apply this with my finger so that I get a nicer finish. So I'm applying it on the inner corner, going up to the middle of the lid and it's just so beautiful. It's such a sophisticated look and versatile. Now I'm gonna take a nude eyeliner and apply it on my waterline. And now before mascara, I'm gonna apply a little bit of a black liner just on the roots to darken it a bit. And now we apply mascara. And I'm only gonna use mascara on my top lashes. This is High Impact Mascara by Clinique. And I'm gonna apply false lashes, but it's optional. Um, I think that with this look, the false lashes is gonna make such a big difference. But if you don't want to, it's okay, but I will. So I'm going to apply them and I'll be right back. So I'm back with my lashes on and today I used my favorite ones, 105 by Ardell. And now I'm just going to apply liquid liner to my lash root. And I'm using Revlon's Liner Intense. All right, and that's it for the eyes. And now I'm gonna finish the skin with you guys. And before I do that, I'm gonna tell you what I have used so far. 
Today I used the Forever Foundation by Dior. My shade is 031. And since my skin is really dry right now, I did not use powder. But if you have more of an oily skin, you can use powder. And to contour, I used my Harmony Blush by MAC, which is this brown shade. So I contour my chin and my nose. And now I'm gonna apply concealer and then blush. The concealer I'm gonna use is Custard, the Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS. You wanna blend it with my finger. And the best way to apply concealer is with your finger and tapping it. Okay, so now we're gonna apply blush and my blush is gonna be a baked bronzer because her cheeks are very glowy and very bronzed. So I decided to use my Tantalizer Baked Bronzer by Lorac that I love. And we're gonna use a bigger brush like this and just apply it starting on close to your hair root on top of your ear and just blend it. All right, so we're done with eyes, skin, and let's finalize this look with the bold, beautiful lips that she wore. So she is wearing more of a glossy plum lip, and I'm, what I'm gonna do is use a lipstick to line my lips, and on top I'm gonna use a high color gloss by Urban Decay just to make it, because it has a lot of pigmentation, so it will give me a glossy finish. And this lipstick was actually made by my friend Bruna. Um, she partnered up with Tracta and she made this amazing lipstick, which is called Ursula in matte finish. And I know MAC has a bunch of lipsticks that similar to this color. So I'm just gonna line it. All right, so lipstick is on, and now we're gonna apply this beautiful grape plum color by Urban Decay. It's the Apocalypse by Urban Decay. So that's the finished look. I really hope you guys liked it. Please leave me comments below with more inspired look suggestions. And please don't forget to rate the video and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Stay beautiful. Bye.